First tonight, redevelopment plans for the historic John Sevier Center in Johnson City are moving forward. Good evening, I'm Sarah Diamond. I'm Josh Smith. Thank you for joining us. This morning, the Johnson City Development Authority voted to enter into a loan agreement with Home Trust Bank for $4.6 million toward the purchase of the John Sevier Building in downtown Johnson City. That old hotel has been used as low-income housing for years, and it currently has 150 residents. Justin Soto joins us now with more on the plans months in the making. The JCDA began negotiations to purchase the building back in September with a plan to transform it into a retail and residential space. Now they're one step closer to owning the building. The Johnson City Development Authority hopes to bring new life into the historic John Sevier Center in the heart of downtown. It has beautiful elements to it, and so restoring that building is a priority for, um, for the JCDA, as well as being able to create a quality of life and better housing for the 150 residents that live there. Diana Cantler says these residents won't be moving out until new housing is complete. When we bring in a developer for the subsidized housing, they will either build or rehab existing buildings. Residents like Sheila Hardin and Lois Barnett say they're optimistic about the changes. We're hoping to get to move to a better place, a better location, good population. They hope to see more modern amenities in their new space. We could use a bedroom. We could use a bedroom, bigger kitchen, Our bigger Our washer and dryer. I want a wash and dryer and stuff uh, like that, a double sink. A little place, you know, to for take your the animals. Right now they have five washers and dryers for 150 residents, and that is just not um, it's not something that our, our community should be proud of. The JCDA showing off this picture of what the John Sevier Center could look like once renovated. I would anticipate it will be what we call multi-use, retail on the first floor, some type of housing, whether it's um, high-end apartments, condos, or boutique hotel. Could be some office space, and then um, there's definitely a place for a restaurant. It's a downtown transformation. The JCDA says is an important part of Johnson City's redevelopment district. The JCDA will begin looking for developers next week with plans to close on the building in the next two to three months. The entire project is estimated to take about five years to complete.